What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Hunter Hunter manga chapter reviews, reactions, live reads. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy it last time, so I'm just going to pretty much keep the same format this time. Um, I decided to fade the image a little bit. You guys told me that um, I think it, I don't know who writes this Viz Media or Funimation, whoever it was. Um, you said you've seen issues with them in the past. They don't like their manga chapters kind of splattered on. So I haven't had, I mean, fingers crossed, knock on wood, I haven't had any issues with the last video, no claims or strikes, so hopefully that'll be fine. Um, so moving forward, this isn't as dark and faded out as I put my YouTube videos, um, so it's still it's still pretty visible, I feel like. Um, but maybe you guys can just scroll along with me, see. I'm still going to read through it and go through all that. Um, and we'll just keep it going. We got a lot of information last episode. Got introduced to Netero's which seems to be biological son. Um, we caught up with Cheadle and the rest of the Zodiacs. Um, it looks like it's going to be an arms race to kind of see who's going to be the first person, first group to kind of reach, you know, the the world beyond. Um, it makes me think of, like, who's trying to be the first country to, like, reach the moon um, and just find out what could be there. I don't know if people... And, like, we know that the hunter... Or at least maybe not the hunters, but the world governments have been there before and have been pretty much denying anybody from ever going back over there. Um, Netero himself had been over there. Um, it looks like Periston is switched, not even switched sides, but just like working with Beyond Netero. Who knows what Ging is up to? We know he wants to get over there as well. Um, we got to see kind of what the human governments have their hands on. That's, um, they got that 50-year-old, or I don't even know, <clears throat> creature they have in their basement along with a ton of other things we got introduced to the five calamities all that kind of stuff um but let's just keep diving into it. i'm going to keep it at two chapters an episode and unless they just start getting extremely long and it's just too much to keep up with so i'm hoping to keep these videos around 45 minutes to an hour um and we'll just uh continue to go from there also well patreon members you guys will see this tuesday night the 21st YouTube, you guys should be seeing this on Saturday. If you haven't already, go over to my community page for my next um, Anime After Dark podcast episode. I'm doing an anime Ask Me Anything. So any anime I've ever watched, feel free to ask a question relating to any of them. Who I like, dislike, fights, if this happened, that happened, rank them, like whatever you want to do, ask me anything anime edition. Um... And we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get it started. <clears throat> let's clear the passageway. So we left off last episode with um, Beyond Netero showing up to the Hunter Agency, almost kind of turning himself in. So let's see what happens. Um, chapter 342. So they have him here. Does he have multiple arms? Or am I looking? I don't know. All right. It looks like they have him handcuffed. You can do what you want with me, but I predict that I will be released, and you will go to the Dark Continent with me. Impossible. You'll be in a prison for a long time for inciting a riot. You are delusional. Well, that would be the correct answer. I feel like he doesn't... I feel like he wants all hands on deck. He doesn't care who... Like he. I feel like he knows the situation and what might lie there so instead of like them trying to get in each other's way kill each other off capture each other he's going to somehow i agree with his statement that they're going to all go together um but the real world isn't like that you have time to hear me out before you report to the v5 they have him on tape recorder this conversation will be recorded is that all right with you no problem as if you could publicize it he looks just like him. Just facing him makes me waver. What does he want? The only thing I know right now is that we're being attacked. Cheadle thinking to herself. I'll first tell you about the V5's official policy and the true meaning behind those words so you can brace yourselves for the truth. Alright. Um, hold on, I'm just making sure I got notes situated here. Because I feel like we're going to get a lot of information here, boys. Are we recording? All right, I'd be really upset. So, um, 
this is the current official world map. All right, that's what we're seeing. Boom. Our world is located within the enormous Lake Masubius in the center of the dark continent. Wow, so almost like um, they're this like beam of light in the middle of this this vast world. Um, kind of like I mean, they're almost on their like Attack on Titan shit. Where um, but completely different premises. People knew of what is out there. Um, I didn't know it was to the extent that maybe we did see that in the in the last kind of images of episode 148. But there's all these countries and you know oceans and waterways and but to them, to whoever lives in the dark continent, the countries that we're aware of, they're just sitting in the they're just like in the middle of this body of water. That's crazy. According to our data, mankind has tried to go there 149 times. That's only the excursions we have recorded. Only five, and this is him telling them this. Where is he getting this information on the screen from? Only five trips have re returning survivors for a total of 28 people. So 149 trips. Five were successful. 28 people total. Who are these 28 people? Are any of them still alive? Um, Netero was. Or was. Of them, Beyond is the only one still alive. Wow. So Beyond has been. Okay. And I feel like exactly what I was saying. He knows. And I feel like whatever he's planning to do or wants to do, he needs all hands on deck. Um, the five voyages were all unofficial and took place after the V5 formed. The Involvability Treaty with the cooperation of the Glide? Guild? Guide. Guide. Blip. So he's just over here just on a PowerPoint presentation. The current situation is that we cannot even cross the far ocean boundary without the guide. So what is the guide? Is this like national treasure type shit where like you have to go a specific route or you just like physically won't be able to make it? with the cooperation of the guide the current situation is that we cannot even cross the far ocean boundary now why can't they cross it it's dangerous there's mountains monsters you know volcanic those type of things like mother nature type things in their way and they need a specific route or they'll kind of sail off like the titanic and smash or oh shit this dude's giving the present where, who's 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 saying what right now? I feel like we cut here. Because I feel like this would be an anime scene and maybe we would have flipped. But like I don't think Beyond Netero is giving any of this presentation right here. I think it's our, um, our newbie bro. So mankind has never, not officially, succeeded in making a round trip by ourselves. Yeah, he's out there giving a presentation. Okay, so we've actually cut away from the Beyond Netero, I think. The, and then he's... He said, okay, he also said, okay, he's the one saying Beyond Nidoro is the only one alive. The 28 survivors were all as fit as medalist and blessed with luck. Even so, only three of them were able to pass various tests upon their homecoming. Who were the three? Nedero and Beyond, I'm guessing, and returned to their daily lives. That's a rate of 0.4%, 0.04%. Needless to say, sending civilians is... Yeah, I mean, you can't just send rando dandos over there. I don't know if you need men. You figure it wouldn't hurt. You could at least have another shield to protect your actual body to shroud yourself in, but... How am I supposed to know everybody that went over there did or did not? But it would make sense. Who's the guide? The being summoned by the gatekeeper. Guide? Summoned? So the gatekeeper decides if you should even be allowed over and then he summons the guide to I guess guide you to just making it past that ocean border or what gatekeeper read the files the magical beast clan with the only pipeline to the continent hmm so without them we wouldn't even 
we would cross the border or the gatekeeper wall fence and just pretty much just die. They're making it sound like you would have no idea where you're going, what you could even do to the continent. Travel there is difficult without their help. And their magical beast. It's so wild that like Hunter Hunter comes back to this. Because I could start like the intro, the first intro you start, you know, they talk about beast and treasures and we don't really go, we don't really dive into like the beast and treasures and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, the, the ant arc, but you know, it took us a while to get there. And now we're kind of like circling back there. May I say some things? Go ahead. We know about these things already. Yeah. Likewise for the five threats you're going to talk about next. Yes. This is a waste of time. Five threat. Yeah, some dude in there, he's been sleeping. He doesn't know what's going on. I want to point out that any talk of risk only serves to fuel the fire for these adventures. The same goes for the countries and businesses that pour money into things, then sit back and wait for the results to roll in. The most this would do is decrease the number of applicants. We want to know the official way to stop them. Yes, I have a file on that. Article 4 in the UNHN Chartered Basic Relations Treaty. International threats, clauses 7-9, prohibit ac active involvement with contagious diseases, biological hazards, and unknown menaces. This is hard to read font on top of this. If it determined that the nation is in danger, the use of force, including military intervention, is permitted. So they might just straight up have like a military Nen battle showdown. Um, we know all this already. So does Konkin. Kakin. And did we even get um, correct pronunciation on that? We'll never back down now that things have gotten so public. I apologize for the circuit. I wanted to establish a common understanding that the means to stop them is limited and military. Yeah, so they're not either, you know, maybe you capture or kill beyond Netero, but Considering the above to quell this situation peacefully, it is necessary to invite, I mean, include them. Why wouldn't you? I mean, if it helps, if you don't want people going over there and unleashing th these things. We organize as the V6 and unofficially support their journey. We must show that we have been waiting for them to become the last representative of the six continents. Not that we have to add them reluctantly. The king will go down in history as a pioneer, and in return, put in writing that the distribution of all the rewards will be even. I mean, that's what kind of, I feel like that's what Beyond Netero is trying to do. He's like, hey, I mean, help me help. Like, we all need to do it. I've been there before. Can't do it myself. I need the strongest. Instead of us, like, plucking each other off, like, let's do the damn thing and I guess this is what the guy's presenting to the room as well what's their reaction going to be there are many uninhabited islands that could accept immigrants in the neutral zone inside the far ocean boundary pretend they are the new continent and have the civilians spend their new lives there who are we talking about bringing things over Leave the actual voyage to Kakin on the condition that the members be carefully screened. Let them suffer the same fate that united the V5 so strongly in the first place. So he wants to join. Put all the people that want to join and go on the voyage on some island and send them on their way. They already know that they probably won't come back is pretty much what our man's saying here. A chaperone is necessary... Is the Hunter Association good enough? We commissioned them to capture beyond. Once they have him, it will be up to them to convince him. The Hunter Association will have earned their keep if they can succeed in being both firm and flexible. And if they fail, negotiate directly with Kakin's leader. We'll certainly resolve it with the V6 offer. If the Hunter Association isn't useful, we'll have to send an unofficial team ourselves then the real threat is that our budget is going to balloon by an estimate of 25 times. And they stamped it. I'm surprised they just, I mean, I'm surprised they all agreed, but, you know, seems fine. We insisted on an unlimited open-door policy to clarify these choice, or else the V5 would never 
get off their behinds, and if we blindly followed protocol, the plan itself would have been crushed. Oh, now we just jumped back. Again, I've got to make sure I look at the images. I'm just reading. If safety of civilian immigrants isn't included in our duty, it doesn't seem as high risk to me. Because you'd disregard your own safety, that's brave, but I'd question your leadership. This means that when you run away, you can't use protecting civilians as your excuse. You don't have to worry about our PR. Why don't you worry about your own? They're all hearing this from the outside of this little screening room, correct? I give up. I have no idea what's going on. Someone translated means Beyond got a ticket to the Dark Continent in exchange for making Cockins King into a historic hero. He got a ticket, ticket not meaning the gatekeepers allowed him in, but the world powers are going to let Beyond Netero go in. Um, and in exchange to the V5 allowing this, they want the other, I guess, country that's not involved. They want his name in the history books, you know. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But the V5 doesn't like to lose, so it wants to maintain dignity by game making us babysit him. So they're going to allow it, and they're still going to be there, and they want to split the profits. Is this good for us? High risk, high return. If we fail, we'll lose the trust of one of our best customers. If we succeed, it's possible we'll be allowed to hunt on the dark continent. Hunt what, though? There's a good chance of gaining great benefits for humanity. I mean, it's like I said, you know, you see these movies and stuff. Um, about wanting to go to uncharted worlds and territories and, you know, um, what could, be, what medicines, what animals, what technology could we learn? And they, everybody thinks it's a good idea until it's not. And then they come back and infect the world and just trust me and contact the V5. They'll say, tell Beyond they accept a supervised voyage and that chaperone will be the Hunter Association. Is he bringing his own and the immigrants are going as well? The immigrants are the... I don't even know why we're calling them immigrants. Well, I guess they, they refer to the people in the continent that's not under the V5 as um, as immigrants. Um, this is my challenge to you. The Dark Continent will be the proving ground. Will you be there? Yes, this is a battle and the entire association will have to fight. Yes, if this is all true, we shall accept... But first, there are many things we'll have to confirm. Fine, take my blood, anything. He expected to be challenged as a fraud. I know he's the real deal. The chairman's son. He's using the Hunter Association as a stepping stone to get to the Dark Continent. We were forced into this. Oh, these are all the Zodiacs talking to each other. It was underhand, but the quickest way to the Dark Continent. We're going to an evil place with a sly foe who won't hesitate to cheat. It looks like we'll be going to the Dark Continent with Beyond, all of you. We can't afford to lose. Plans have changed. This will be a top secret, crucial mission from the V5. This will require the entire association's help. Like, they're going to bring in more than just the Zodiacs. You figure a gang is going to be a part of this. Um, we're going together now. How is this a showdown? You amaze me. Beyond is saying he's going to the Dark Continent as a prisoner, but then he'll escape from us to do as he pleases. We'll have to find a solution to the threats while managing him and fighting off his comrades. In the land of complete unknowns, we don't we don't know what will come to attack. That's a nice shot right there. But that's what hunters are supposed to do, right? Exactly. Be prepared. I hope we hit it off with Beyond during the trip and have a fun adventure. Optimism, dream on. I'll watch him, Cheetle. Okay. You should also be prepared. It will be a long imprisonment. A long time. I'll wait as long as it takes. <clears throat> well done. This is a good presentation. Thank you, but are you sure that was the right thing? Um, 
what was, like you asked, I submitted all the various risks, but isn't the agency contradicting itself if the conclusion is that we'd still go? Eh. It's no problem. Our duty was to inform them of the dangers and to propose a safer route to people who had already decided on a destination. The rest is in their hands. Something else? Our official stance is that the journey to the new world was fiction. But in actuality, the book is the basis for the most important criteria for the world. An honest world would be best, of course, but peace is more important, isn't it? Hmm. Oh shit, look at this shot. Is this in our world? Look at that giant transport ship. No, I think it is in our world. Black Whale number one. It can carry an astonishing 200,000 people. I mean, it's basically a, a moving city. The interior is simple as it was specialized for transport, but that meant it was built at a low cost and in less time. Uh, it doesn't sound very stable. Our hero king has declared that they will build 20 of these ships in a year. And he's promised to send 100 million people within five years. He's really trying to just d kill off the population, isn't he, by shipping them all over there. Um, the commemorative first ship is scheduled to carry beyond, as well as the king and 14 princes. Civilians will be picked by lottery, and the current odds of the landing a seat on the ship is 1 in 1300. The odds are better than you think. I mean, they 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 really trying it out here. <clears throat> so we're inclined to focus on the spectacular and optimistic stories in this immigration plan. But one thing to note is that the risk inherent in the voyage and people are concerned about that. The maximum rating on the published dangerous non-native species list is C. Can you explain how dangerous this is so the rest of us can understand? Oh, the likes of bears, sharks, poisonous snakes, and wasp creatures you might come across if you're unlucky that might be fatal in the worst case scenario opinions online declare that the dark continent surely must harbor deadly rank b or a creatures uh yeah i'd say so nobody can rule them out completely but these people probably assume that mankind never went to the dark continent because dangerous creatures exist many ancient ruins describe the calamities caused by going to the continent we have concluded that these mass casualties were from infectious by viruses and microbes. Modern medicine will prevent such pro... Okay, here we go. Thinking they're going to be able to combat whatever they got. In fact, the minerals and liquids held by these flora are much more likely to be hiding miraculous compounds that can help me. You see what I'm saying? They're talking about medicine. They think they can handle it. I declare that the greatest gold rush of human civilization of human history will take place in the next 10 years. Oh, here's Ging and uh, the other showdown group that we saw, Beyond's group. Ging's there, though. Is this the place where dreams are made, Periston and Ging? Let me in on this. You're taking all comers, right? For a second, I thought you came to stop us. Hmm. I plan to. This whole mess is your specialty, a forced choice, depending on whether the association responds to the Beyond's provocation. You'd send in 5,000 Khmer soldiers. Is that what he was planning? Is that why he, um... Hmm. That's kind of like their kind of like their meat shield. He's going to take all those ant chimera sacks. You've had enough fun, haven't you? The association isn't your sandbox any longer. Don't mess with it anymore. I'll play with you personally from now on until you beg me to stop. So you're finally going to pay attention to me. We'll see about that. I might just be doing it for my own. Okay. Back when I was young, director, that doesn't make sense. Okay, we got a lot right there. We got a lot. We got a lot. Um, wasn't anything um, 
I guess as deep as the last two chapters, we got, there's been 149 trips, officially, unofficially, 149. Only five have come back successful, and of those five trips, it has brought back 28 people. Um, of those 28, only three are alive. I'm wondering if Netero counted as four upon his death. Um, and Beyond is one of them. I wonder if he ever went with Netero, hearing Netero's stories about it, maybe. I wonder when, you know. Um, and then who are the other two? Are they going to be included in this story? Are they going again? Um, so the gatekeeper, gatekeepers are magical beast. Um, and if I guess they see fit that you can go, they'll summon the guide again. I don't know if the guide is like a treasure map, a GPS that you're going to need to follow. And if you don't follow it, and if you don't have it, there's pretty much no surviving. You'll never find your way back. You'll never find your way to whatever you might need to find over there to survive. Um, and with the gatekeepers, is there even a way, like, well, you know it's an actual physical thing. Could you somehow get over that gate and the gatekeepers not notice? Like, pretty much, it's, it's it seems like the gatekeepers aren't letting anybody in just because. And I don't know how strict they are on keeping people out. But if that's the case, you would think everybody that goes has the guide or access to it, correct? Um, I don't quite know. In that, uh, yeah, they're going to let Beyond go. In exchange, the, um, the independent country is going to be brought in, recognized as such, now going to be the V6, the king of the independent um, nation, country, wants to be pretty much like have his names in the history books is with, I guess, like a Christopher Columbus or something like that. Um, and they want to share in all, in whatever they bring back, the v, the current V5, because I guess it's not official yet, they want to share in all the profits. They don't want any of the risk. They're not sending their own people, minus the Hunter Association. Um... But none of the like big wigs or anybody is going with them. They're gonna allow it to go unofficially, chaperone it, bring the other country into the fold. Um, but they want to share in whatever whatever medicine, riches, technological advance, whatever they want a part of. Um, so I'm guessing it's gonna be this group here, right here. Um, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gang makes nine, plus the other, well, now it's eight Zodiacs, because these two were, so, plus beyond. So, what we got, like, a group of 20 or so, or they're going to be more going with them. Um, and the, the ants, the ant soldiers. Um, so was Pariston already planning for this? There's no way to know, because the anime didn't continue after that. This is what I'm continuing with. So did he already plan for that? Like that's what his goal was to go beyond, go go with beyond to the other place and figured he's heard. I don't know if Pearson's one of the people that have been back. I have no idea, but maybe he's heard and knows what it is and the difficulty and the slim chance of even coming back. Maybe he thinks going with a bunch of ants will help them if they come across any physical danger. I don't know how he plans to control them. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty much the most interesting comment of the entire chapter. Um, you'd send in 5,000 Khmer soldiers. Soldiers that you have command over is the question. Um, hmm. That'll be interesting. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's jump to the next next chapter. We got some good stuff right there. Good, good, good stuff. So that was um, 342. Let's go ahead and get a... Uh, oh, God. Can't see. 343. <clears throat> All right. Me, a Zodiac. Yes, you are currently the most respected hunter in the association. All right, Leor. Leor, you're getting some screen time. Your participation is essential for the success of a mission that will decide its future. We would like your help by any means. Hold on, I got things to do. 
your medical studies. This may be presumptuous, but I've contacted your school. They've made a special exception and approved an indefinite term for study abroad only if you go to the dark continent with us as part of the medical team. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I will be chief physician. You'll earn academic credit. I mean, pretty much he can't say no. I know I'm the one asking you a favor, but I won't give you an easy grade. Of course, if you're not good enough, you may end up wasting months to years of your life. I must point out that this is a very dangerous and difficult mission. There will be no other <clears throat> compensation. If you'd rather be a doctor in a safe place, simply to make money, feel free to refuse. All right, then. I'll gladly refuse. I should be the one asking you, what better opportunity could I wish for? Let me do it. Sure. Thank you. But there's one thing. You have one more opening in the zodiacs right yeah there's some oh is uh karapika coming at the rowdown with the boys oh we cut away um all right so leorio leorio's in <sighs> again i'm not, i don't want to sleep on leorio and trash talk him and all these things but and he's got skill better than the basic human but can he can he handle this? And I don't even know what he needs to be able to handle, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Why did you assume those were two choices? If there were the association doing what I would want, make a lot of things worse. That's not a negotiation. Plus, the hunter exam thing came out of nowhere. Negotiation, nego negotiating isn't even on your mind. This is a game you're playing by yourself. You're not going to ask how I knew you were sheltering Chimera ants. It's not like I was trying to hide it. If the association accepted the terms and went to the Dark Continent officially, they'd need expert personnel. But governments are risking, are risk adverse and slow to respond using private contractors always creates disputes in contracts and distribution rights. Cheadle will try to recruit the necessary personnel via the Hunter exam. So the association acts alone. It's the most realistic and efficient way, but to you, it's the most moderate and boring decision, one you'd rather not have happen. Netero would. He would never do that. Hmm. He'd accept losing the V5 as a client and refuse to accompany beyond. He'd find his own way there first. I agree, Netero would have. Wait for beyond on the dark continent and announce that the hunt for beyond is on. That's what the Hunter Association should be, right? Why are you trying so hard to destroy it if you're obsessed with it? Quite a twisted form of love. Any proof that I'm destroying it? Explain this forced choice to me. You're a baby crying for attention. If the association became boring to you, you'd go find a new playmate. I really, I want to see Gang speak this. I guess because I'm used to, I got introduced to these characters in an anime. Um, and seeing Gang, like, speak all this much is you know a lot the quickest way for one to dump the chimeras into the world that would also force a change in policy regarding the dark continent oh he wants to dump them into the world and maybe make it seem like hey we can't let an infestation like this happen we need to go over there and squash it type thing but if the association shows a backbone you'd happily deliver the finishing blow by sending the chimeras to take the exam. Oh. It's the only way for anyone to become a member. A balanced exam that Cheetah will create amounts to a free pass for anyone with your tutelage and connections. Your followers will pass in bulk, though I do not know what you'd do with the association full of chimeras. So, like, hunters that are chimeras. You and I are similar. We think in unorthodox ways. That's why I think what I think. What is this family flashback here? What a way to put it, but you're right, so whatever. People normally feel happiness when they love and are loved. Okay, I thought this was going to be a Periston flashback. I feel happiness when people hate me. Oh man, we're actually getting his like internal thoughts and stuff. I'd love to see this animated. And I feel completed to hurt the things that are dear to me. Okay. But is that so strange? Is his flipping darked out face depends on the extent but i'm saying you're totally out of it and that's not how we're like um okay here comes a chick you may not stay out of this baldy bong. <laughs>
Who do you think you are? Busting in here, acting all. Oh God, he just hit that man with the with the two piece doo wop. Oof. Got it. Now stay out of this. Are you the one who calls the shots here? Oh God, now everybody's gonna try to come one v one him. This uh doll character here looks creepy, creepy, creepy. Um. Come on, gang. I'm number two, of course. So it's not a hierarchy of strength. Oh, you underestimate me. If you were only about brute force, I'd pummel you and that would be it. That's not the case, which is the trouble. You'd be laughing inside even as I made you cough up blood and, s and stepped on your head. I'd have to break your spirit instead. I'm now... I'm number two now? Anyone got a problem with that? And who did we just flash to here? Who the hell are you? I'm from the Hunter Association. Is Karapika here? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Dang, I'd love to see the game gang get back together. Um, and we'll see, and we'll see if Karapika grows on me as this uh, manga goes. He's out. Please take your leave. Then I'll wait here until he returns. Can I have some coffee? I'll get the milk myself. Shows off that hunter license. This is a warning. Don't come near me. Oh, he was about to really throw down. I will not allow any violence. I'm a crime hunter with special investigation. Investigative clearance. Save your lip for the nurse at the hospital. We'll send you there. Yo, Karapika, are these the people you're hanging out with or what? I can't move. Oh, God. Did he just hit him with some, uh... Let's guess right here. <clears throat> Did he hit him with some, like, um... Shikamaru Shadow Clone? Or what happened? I mean, Shadow Clone? Um, I'm talking, um... Shadow Possession shit? Or... Closed Courtroom Cross Game. So he's got some, like, imprisonment Nen ability here? What does he conjure, like, pyramid prism dimensions? Or, hey, you won't get away with this. What the hell did you do? You'll be released soon. <clears throat> Looks like he has some kind of, um, restricting ability. Caging. Shit. Almost like Karapika with the chains. But here's another warning, not another step. I will immobilize you as many times as you resist over and over. Okay, fine. Golly, that would have been so clean to see that animated. <laughs> the boss is downstairs. But he's in a bad mood. Try not to provoke him. You're a hunter, right? Is this your real occupation? What are you implying? And what's Cowboy's name? Like, Cowboy's name? Um, we get 100% of our income through personal security details and gambling. We pay our taxes. They're both legal here. You have no right to say anything. I'm hearing a lot of noise. Is this a uh, old uh, Kara OP Karapi? Yep, there he is. Who are you? What do you want with me? Uh, I can move. So he's seen his share of carnage. Misa, is that his name? Mies, I don't even know. I'm just going to call him Misa for now. Have you heard of the news about Kaken going into the Dark Continent? Yeah, of course you don't care. We know. Leoriel told me about you, and I'm here to make a request. Come to the Dark Continent with us. I refuse. Is that all? I'm busy. I could totally see that. But, like, what is Karapika even up to these days? Still hunting down the same old, same old? She's over here. And she. He's over here. Sound like he's doing some underneath the table organized crime slash not crime. Like, what are you? Got his own gang going on. I hear you're looking for the crimson eyes of your murdered friends. Oh, that'll do it. That'll trigger it. From this point on, choose your words wisely. You don't want that smoke. This is no place for you outsiders. I am indeed looking for their eyes. What of it? There's a dark net sight of peculiar, similar-minded people. Do you know what six months ago a video showing a large number of crimson eyes was uploaded there? 
Of course, so what? Karapika is looking for their owner. But we don't have any clues so far. Okay, so there's looks like there's somebody, maybe not Krolo and the Phantom Troop, but somebody else is over here selling eyes. Where do they get them? How do they get them? We've identified the owner of those eyes. Well, Karapika's in. That'll do it. <laughs> I can see the anime cut. We accidentally came across them while making a background check on a VIP for the Dark Continent trip. Oh, somebody that's going to go on the trip or has wanted to go on the trip. It was a coincidence. It would be impossible to figure out from the video alone. That's all I can say to you, an outsider. I need you to consider carefully before you answer me. If you join the Zodiacs, you will accompany us to the Dark Continent, but you will spend about two months on a ship. Would that be of interest to you? And that's Two months is enough to kind of sniff out who it might be. Um, hmm. So this person is going to be on board. I could see this. I could see. I like. I visually see Karapika saying this in the anime. Like as I'm rewatching the Phantom Troop arc right now with uh, Ramona, and like Karapika, one minute so like standoffish and like raging, emotional red eyes, and then Melody will come talk to him and he'll like start breaking things down. I, like I clearly just saw that conversation animated in my head. is to recover my brother in stolen eyes. All right, I will join you by any means necessary. Will you tell me who it is? Cockin's fourth prince. Okay, one of the fourth prince is the person that uh has the eyes. So are they just going to let like killings happen on this two-month voyage or just, you know, hmm. Harrison, you're out of it. I think you're the one who's out of it as a parent. I want to scroll back. Do you know six months ago, a video showing a large number of crimson eyes was uploaded there? We don't mean... We've identified the owner of those crimson eyes. So not just who uploaded the stuff, but who actually has them. All right. So what we got that episode, that episode, that chapter, they brought in Leorio. They know he's pretty much like won the hearts of all the hunters, the current hunters. So maybe they'll see Leorio going and, you know, the strongest and other hunters. I mean, they need hunters. They can't just have rando dando people coming out trying to go on this trip. Um, and Leorio, you know, he's down and he wants to bring Karapika with him. I'm kind of surprised. Well, not surprised because I don't. Well, maybe not surprised. Gone is of no use. You know, gone. He's great. He'll still be quick and agile and the little, like, island hunter boy, you know, that can fend for himself. But as far as being anything more than that, you know, he might just be putting himself in danger. But I'm surprised. Not surprised. I mean, Leorio and Karapika always had kind of the, the little connection there. And maybe they're not trying to include them in the story because their stories are already done. But, like, I'm surprised maybe, like, Kilua wasn't mentioned or, or like, maybe throwing out Gon's name just because. Or, you know, just something like that. Um, but he wants Karapika. He's in if Karapika's in. Um, Karapika's got some kind of, like, I don't know. He's, we know what he truly wants to, you know, get the his bre recover his brethren's eyes. But what kind of shady underground business gang thing does he... It looks like he's got his own kind of, like... Nostrad family kind of organization going here where they just kind of go around, do whatever, whether it's illegal or not, but as long as they find answers to what they're looking for. So I don't know what Karapika is doing. Um, Misa, though, Mr. Cow Man here, he's got some kind of alternate dimension paralysis Nen ability. I would say he's either conjuring that or or he's transmuting it. Um, could be multiple things, but he's either conjuring some kind of like maybe prisms that you would need Gyo activated to see. Um, Gyo activated. Um, or he's transmuting his aura into some kind of like two by four pretty much cell to lock somebody in place with. I don't see him enhancing or manipulating anything or emitting. I mean, maybe emitting is always like 
I always get emitting kind of mixed up of like what emitters could do that like wouldn't just I feel like it's one of those categories that like I feel like emitting could fall under transmutation and I feel like emitting could fall under conjuring so to have it be its own thing kind of always throws me off um so he goes and seeks in search of Karapika and wants um to bring him on board we got to see his ability we didn't get an explanation of it um of kind of what it really is and the, the drawbacks or you know how long could he leave somebody chained up for or held captive um but all to come to the conclusion that um one of the fourth princes um or the fourth prince that's going from the Kagan king he's the one that has um access to all these eyes did he get them did he buy them off someone who's trying to sell them again or is he really out here killing Kurta clan members I mean there's none left right it's is Karapika the last one um and our guy basically just said hey I mean we're gonna be on a two of the month voyage I should give you plenty of time to you know hunt that man down find out what you need to probably kill him like he said it without setting it like saying it um but it was some solid stuff there there's some good uh, good chapters, back to back. I mean, it wasn't anything too groundbreaking or crazy. Again, 342, we figured out like the voyages and that Beyond is one of the only three living people that have been and came back. I want to know who the other two are, if they're going to even be looped into the story. Um, we got the gatekeepers, you need the guide, they're magical beast. Um, and yeah, and then the ant soldiers <clears throat> who's to say that Pariston would even be able to kind of control because when they come out are they not going to be loyal to I guess who they thought might have been Miriam or where did the ant like the ants are going to come out are we talking um palm type ants where they're half human half whatever um because in that way yeah um but they're not going to be straight up ants, ants like um, uh, Colt and Welfarin and all them, or are they going to be? I got kind of hung up on that a little bit. Either way, we know they still kind of have an affinity for maybe an ant ruler or so, because we see Palm struggle with it or has. But now that he's dead, kind of like maybe they won't be. So I'm guessing, how do they pretty much plan to control these 5,000 ants? Um, I thought maybe Pariston wanted to use them as like a meat shield, but it kind of sounds like he does. Um, he wants them to be like become hunters and then take them to go over there. Or maybe, I don't know if he sounded like he wanted to use them to go to the dark continent or he wanted to use them to like infect the world and be like, see, this is what the dangers could be. We got to go over there and squash this before more show up. So we'll kind of see where that kind of lies, but some solid, solid stuff there. A little build up here. We got... We're, we're looping in characters that we know, getting introduced to new ones, um, and everything's kind of chugging along. So I'm I'm enjoying it. It's some good stuff. Um, what I'm planning to do, um, I would like to do these once a week um, at two weeks max. Um, so if you guys don't see one in one week, just know that it'll be up the following week. They'll be up every Saturday in place of My Hero. Um, they'll probably always be up like three or four days ahead on patreon so if you want the early access to it about four or five days anything like that it'll be over there if not just wait till the saturday um and we'll go from there and again feel free to leave your questions over there i'd like to get a good like 20 or so questions for the next podcast episode um but we'll play around with it we'll go from there so i appreciate it guys another hunter hunter manga chapter live reaction read review done um y'all stay safe out there help me get to six thousand subscribers we're getting closer and closer like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...